Hey guys, what's up? This is Nikhil from DopeMotions.com and welcome to this brand new After Effects tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to create this classic looking slideshow animation into After Effects. It's going to be a bit long tutorial, but really fun and interesting one. So without wasting any more time, let's get straight into the video and get started. All right, so let's go ahead and create a new composition and let's just name this Keep It Main Comp. So I'm just going to name this main and 1920 to 1080, 30 frames looks good. 10 seconds should be good enough and hit OK. So here we have our composition. All right. So let's go ahead and create some shapes. So I'm just going to double click on it to create a rectangle shape like so. Let's just rename this to 01. Then go to rectangle 1, rectangle path 1 and unlink this and change the size so let's say 600 and this to 800 yep that looks pretty good and make this 3d then what i'm going to do is i'm going to rotate it so i'm just going to hit r to bring down the rotation and orientation properties and i'm going to rotate the orientation to let's say 330 by 30. Yep. that looks pretty good and I'm gonna place it somewhere around there or maybe somewhere around here and let's animate this but before animating this let's create this uh, create the other slides as well so to do that we just need to hit ctrl D to copy it and just move this wherever you want to I'm just gonna create something like that now you can create any kind of shape you know just random stuff just ab abstract stuff actually so i just found out that the shape looks good so i'm just gonna go with this one but you can of course add more you know rectangles and create some different shapes as well so there we have it and let's just animate them so to do that i'm gonna go to let's say one second select them and hit p for the position properties and create a keyframe by hitting on the stopwatch go back in time to at the very beginning of the comp and just drag them out just like so so all the rectangles are out of the frames now we have this basic animation as you can see then I'm gonna go to let's say around four seconds create a keyframe like so go to five seconds and just select them all and just drag them out of the frame So we have some basic in animation and out animation. So let's just select this keyframes and hit F9 to easy ease them like so. And maybe I'll just hit Ctrl Z. What I'm going to do is I'm going to select this keyframes and do an ease in. Select this keyframe and do an ease out. So the movement is pretty subtle. Actually, there's no movement because we need to uh, we need to you know uh, manipulate this keyframe. So I'm gonna hit F9, and here I'm gonna select this and hit F9. Then select this ones and go to Graph Editor, and I'm just gonna drag this, creating something like that. Select them and just so it's gonna come in really fast and settle down slowly. You can see looks really cool and the same thing with this keyframes and something like that so it's gonna go in go out like so yep that is looking pretty good then let's create a new camera I'm gonna keep this at 35 millimeters and create a new null object and parent the camera but before that just make the null object 3d and then parent the camera to the null object like so and I'm gonna, I'm gonna give a little bit of you know when it animates in and stays there for a while i want a little bit of motion i just want i just don't want them to you know be be pretty stiff at that moment so to do that i'm just gonna select the null head r for the rotation properties and we're gonna rotate or we're gonna animate the y rotation rotation so go to very beginning create a keyframe and go to the very end that is five seconds and I'm gonna give that a rotation of 
let's say 10 degrees so we have a little bit of rotation so that it looks really dynamic kind of thing see it looks pretty good i like this yep so that is pretty easy and simple to do you can just select the keyframes that have nine to easy ease them just close this up now this rectangles are gonna act as a mat for our image or footage whatever you want to use so so we first need to pre-comp this layer so just select them all right click pre-comp it call this mat and hit ok and then i can just simply drag in my footage just pre-comp this as well call this footage so that you can drag any footage later on so i'm just going to move all the attributes and hit ok and then what we need to do is just go to track math uh, if the option is not there you can just click on this icon and you're going to get track math and just set this to alpha math so now as you can see the animation or the rectangles are acting as a mat for our image so now we can animate the image as well so i'm just i'm going to give a little bit of animation to the image as well so to do that i'm just going to select the footage and hit p to bring down the position properties and maybe i'll just see i'm going to keep it let's see right over here create a keyframe and i want this to animate just a little like so then we can just drag the keyframes at the beginning and at the end just like so so there we have a little bit of movement in our image as well pretty simple pretty easy let's create a new background as well so i'm just gonna hit ctrl y to create a new bg and keep this kind of a dull white just drag this like so then what i'm going to do is i'm going to create the borders for our rectangle and that is pretty easy actually we just need to duplicate the mat hit ctrl d to duplicate it and oh before that we need to pre-comb these things this both because we need to add a drop shadow to it and I can't add drop shadow to matte or to the footage because it's not gonna work so if I just show you guys pretty quickly if I just add a drop shadow to matte you can see it's not gonna work like so you see so in order to make it work we need to pre-comb them so we can just delete them select the footage and the matte and pre-comp it pre comp call this the main animation you can call it whatever you want to i'm just really bad at naming things just call this main animation and then we can add a drop shadow like so maybe i'll just increase the distance a bit and the softness just like so something like that yep that is looking pretty nice as you can see looks pretty cool then we can just go into our main animation comp and then duplicate the mat hit ctrl d oh i'm sorry for that we can't just duplicate it right away here because if we duplicate the mat right away here and make any changes it's gonna affect the main mat as well the main mat composition i mean so we need to select the mat right over here and duplicate it by hitting ctrl d so we have a mat 2 and i'm gonna drag in the mat 2 right over here all right go to mat 2 and uh, don't need the fill so we can just select the three layers or rectangles and unfill it like so and we need to add a stroke so i'm gonna add strokes like so maybe i'll just keep it at 15. yep that looks pretty good as you can see looks pretty good you can keep it like so you can see looks really cool maybe it's too big i'll just make them 10. That looks pretty good you can also give different colors if you want to you can do you know crazy amount of things with this technique of creating slideshows it's just basic what i'm sh showing you guys right now and the main concept behind my tutorials is to give you guys an idea i don't want you guys to replicate just what i do you know play around with stuff try some try to create some really cool things and you know have fun with it don't just you know follow the exact tutorial once you get the idea of how to do it you can do some really amazing stuff because 
<laughs> let me speak for a while now because uh, even i watch tutorials on youtube i follow andrew kramer you know there are some amazing people whom i follow on youtube and uh, i follow their tutorials but when i you know try to create something using their tutorials i just don't replicate the exact same thing once i get the idea of how to do it i try experimenting with some you know with some effects or with some really random stuff you know so yeah this just you know try to come up with something great or something at least cool now let's see what we can do right over here uh, one more cool thing that you can do is you can displace the rectangles a bit so you can just displace them by maybe five frames which should give a little randomness and you can see that makes it look really really cool you can keep it that way it's all up to you or you can just you know leave it so yep i'm happy with that now let's create the strokes so i'm gonna go into our main animation comp and go select my pen tool and create a stroke like so one more right over here and one right over here all right well, let's go ahead and fix them first of all because they are not really accurate accurate so you can just select the pen tool and just try to fix them and this looks pretty good yeah i just need to fix this one drag this right over here just i'm just trying to be as precise as i can Something like that yep that looks pretty good and then we can just you know go into the properties of any shape layer and add trim parts and then we can animate them like so so now go to very beginning create a keyframe at the end properties so I'm gonna hit on the stopwatch to create a keyframe go to one second or maybe Let's go to 15 frames. Make bring this up to 100. Take this at five frames. Create a key. Create a keyframe on the start. Go right over here and bring this up to 100. So now we have something like that, which is kind of hard to see right now. But if I just take this a bit forward, you see, it looks pretty cool. See, yep. Hit F9 to easy ease them. Go to graph editor and. We're just gonna try to create kind of a peak right away. See, it looks pretty cool. Maybe I'll just bring this up all the way right away. And that should look cool. Yep, that is looking pretty nice. We'll just increase the distance a bit that is looking pretty nice and i'm gonna bring down the strokes to let's say six pixels yeah. and change the color to kind of a dark or maybe kind of a gray something like that all right and then what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna select the keyframes hit ctrl c to copy them go right select the shape layer hit ctrl v select the select the shape layer three and hit ctrl v so we have the animation right over here you can just crop this up and then maybe it displays them a bit so we have this really cool looking animation as you can see we increase the distance a bit more then go to a main comp and let's see how it looks So as you can see, this is looking really nice, clean and simple. Mm, yep, I'm happy with that. So we are almost done. Just some little bit of tweaks. Let, let's do some color correction as well. So I'm going to create a new adjustment layer and make this CC for color correction and add a little bit of curves to it 
just a touch not much like so and you can also add a vignette if you want to but I'm gonna keep it really clean and let's add our text so I'm gonna type in anything let's say I'm gonna create a design and change the color to something like a darker gray there we go make this somewhere around there and yep that is looking really nice maybe I'll just change the font to something like a semi bold italic or maybe maybe some thin no maybe a Unisans sounds a regular one Unisans sounds is one of my favorite font actually so I'm just gonna go with that a bit of a gray there we go looks pretty cool maybe a bit dark and we can just basically animate the text as well so we can just go right over here at one second Hit P to bring down the position properties, create a keyframe, go back in time, just drag them out. Select the keyframes at F9 to easy ease them, and the basic stuff that we always do. It's really cool, really clean and nice, you can see. Also add some... Pretty cool, and maybe I'll just change the design font to a bold font make it look really nice and yeah that looks pretty nice see you can just hit you copy the keyframes ctrl c go to four seconds and paste them up by hitting ctrl v right click keyframe assistance and time reverse keyframe so there we go oh, you can see our animation is not completely out of the frame so to fix this what we need to do is go to right over there in our main animation comp and go to our mat basically select them hit p to bring down the position properties and select them just drag them up There we go. So there we have our really nice, clean and classic looking slideshow animation. Pretty simple, really easy. You can also go ahead and add motion blur, which will make it look even more cool. So yep, that's a wrap for today. I hope this video was helpful to you guys. And if it was, don't forget to subscribe, comment and like, and I'll see you in my next video. Till then, take care and thank you so much for watching guys. Don't forget to stay raw, stay creative.